It's the 13th of July in Butler, Pennsylvania. Former U.S. President Donald Trump speaks at a rally. It's only days until he plans to accept the official Republican nomination. He's just minutes into his speech when shots are fired. Take a look at what happened. Crazy, man. Crazy scenes. <laughs> Trump got hit, but survived. That went viral of him, literally, who gets shot or shot at, stands up and goes. He does the pose of victory. What a man. He's a fighter. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And he loves his country. Mm -hmm. Someone tried to assassinate him in broad daylight. Nuts. Here is how it unfolded. By the time this video is published, new details might have emerged. It's a hot, sweltering early evening as tens of thousands gather here to see Trump. Pennsylvania is one of six vital swing states that will help secure the win in the next presidential election. Butler skews heavily Republican, and it is a blue-collar town. USA! This is a big crowd. This is a big, big, beautiful crowd. He is surrounded by supporters. Most are sitting or standing in front of the stage. Some sit on the bleachers, center, left, and right. Trump support staff and security, including Secret Service agents, are right at the stage. Behind him are three large buildings. On the roof of the building on the far left and on the far right are Secret Service snipers. Mm. They are constantly scanning the surroundings, looking for threats. They can be seen in this video filmed by a crowd member. You know what, I'm shocked at how this guy, the assassin, managed to get to a position to Where be able they to they were even, not able to see him. Yeah, and yeah. Secret Service, they don't play. They no. are, so we've seen- They the, are top. We've done the, a reaction to the, uh, the vehicle, the beast. Yeah. Look at the uh, lengths they go to protect the vehicle. It's insane. So I'm surprised mm -hmm. like this guy managed to get to a position. 100%, and shoot. they shouldn't even have uh, secret services behind Trump, they should have them scattered in that area. I think area. they do. I think they do. That's so, the thing. Like I think that's said, just that one. That guy of, just got away. I think that's just one of the set that they just showed, but the secret service scattered all around, I'm pretty sure. We'll see now. Hello, Butler, and hello to Pennsylvania. I'm thrilled to be back. Trump begins with his speech. Things seem normal. He turns to the right and points at a chart showing statistics on border crossings. At the same time, several people in the crowd notice a man with a gun on the roof of a building close by. Oh, so he got noticed. It's too late. Take a look what happened. All of a sudden, bullets start flying. One even gets captured Mad. on camera. Damn, look Another how close building, that is. About 400 feet or 120 meters north of the stage. The shots are coming from here, on the roof. The gunman is 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks. So young. He's armed with an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. The gun was legally purchased by his father. First, he apparently fires a round of three shots. Take a look at what happened. Trump reaches up with his hand. The first bullet pierces the upper part of his right ear. How close that is. They later say that turning over to the right at that exact moment prevented the bullet from hitting him right in the head. He ducks down behind the podium and within three to four seconds after the first shot, Secret Service agents swarm the former president and shield him with their bodies. Crooks opens fire again, immediately, with five more shots. What's your thoughts so far? Now knowing a bit more detail of um, how this actually happened. So he was on top of a rooftop as well. Yeah. And the Secret Services didn't even know he was there. The audience saw before They've the Secret Service. They've got snipers, which they can look at such a distance, and they even see him. Thing is, they wasn't expecting it. So you're they right. They need to should, expect anything. But yeah, and you know what? They prepare for the worst at all occasions. I don't think they But I don't know how this, this guy got through and how he was able to have a clear shot. Thank God his aim wasn't the best, because if his aim was any better, that would be a straight headshot, straight execution of Donald Trump. And he's only 20 years old. Yeah. Did he get manipulated? Someone... Nah, uh, some people are obsessed. Look at the school shootings over there. Like the school shootings, they're like 16, 17 year olds going around shooting kids. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's probably just someone who thought 
who's probably a so against Trump's way of, uh, you know, of what America should be, that he probably thought, I'm going to take one for the team in his world. And I don't think he's scared either because after the one of someone from the audience noticed that he was there, he continued to shoot. He was on a mission. And after the bodyguards um, crowded Trump, he kept he's going. still shooting. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't I'm care. Sh- yeah, I'm sure people He's on a mission. Trace. Yeah, he's he was literally to, on a mission. He's fully trying to take out Trump. No, yeah. by, by any means, he don't care about his life. Before the first shot by Crooks, one of the snipers on the left roof behind Trump seems to detect the gunman and prepares to return fire. Take a look at what happened. Some outlets report that these snipers killed Crooks, while the Secret Service confirmed its personnel neutralized the shooter. Mm. We could not corroborate that it was in fact these specific could agents. Be a from the both. gunman also hit spectators on the bleachers. One man died, 50-year-old Corey Comprador. Fire, fire. Two That's others so sad. Sad. injured. With Trump's microphone still on, we can hear the tense exchanges among the agents. About 42 seconds after Crooks opened fire, they confirm the shooter is down. They prepare to escort him to an armored vehicle. It's insane, isn't it? Crazy scenes. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold on. The crowd is just sitting there. Yeah, where can they... You know what it is? Americans, I feel like, because they are used to... I'm not saying they're used to bullets flying, they're not. But because they are aware America is like gun, a gun country compared to the UK and other countries... They're still going to be scared as hell, but once they heard the the shooters neutralized, they probably feel a bit more at ease. And also, they have attended this to see Donald Trump as well. So they must be there thinking, we are here with you. And they probably want to witness it, like, what the hell's going on? Mm. Yeah, and like you said, to support Trump, they're not just going to run away. No. So we got to move to the front. <laughs> Trav's like, yo, my shoe. Watch out. Wait, 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 wait. In about 75 seconds after ducking to the ground, <laughs> Trump raises his fist. I love that. <laughs> He's mouthing the words, fight, fight, fight. The resulting photos immediately travel around the entire world. Yeah. The crowd starts to chant for the former president as he leaves the stage. You will say. I love it. Trump is then rushed to a hospital. Later that night, he's flown to New Jersey. He appears to be well. He's probably gained, like, don't get me wrong, he has a lot of supporters, as we know, um, worldwide, but just that scenario probably, like, boosted his support so much more. He literally survived a clear assassination attempt and still fighting strong for his beliefs. This guy's a multi-billionaire. He don't need to be there trying to be president. Like, he could just sit back and just not care and make his money it's true he's, but he cares for his country he loves his country yeah. he, he cannot stand seeing his country going through what's going mm. could be on a yacht chilling there are a lot of questions we don't have an answer to right now why were the forces unable to prevent the attack that's our question that's analysis on x suggests that at least the snipers on the roof behind trump were likely scouting for dangers further away with this rooftop possibly falling into the responsibility of other law enforcement agents. We were unable to corroborate that. Why couldn't our men climb up on this building? What was Crooks' motive? The gunman had no criminal history in Pennsylvania's public court records. Clean records. The New York Times found a voter registration record for Crooks. It shows that he was registered as a Republican. They also found that he donated $15 to a liberal voter turnout group through a Democratic donation platform in 2021. Mm. He was a kitchen worker and had a membership at a local shooting club. The FBI found suspicious devices in both his car and home. They are being evaluated by the agency at the time of this recording. The investigation is ongoing, and new information is being published by the minute. President Biden and various leaders around the world condemned the attack and political violence at once. Which I love to see, you know, with Biden and Trump's rivalry, you know, at the moment with them fighting to be president, I was it was it was very refreshing to see that you know Biden was very supportive of Trump and wished him a speedy recovery same with Obama he's done it as well and um it's just not right this is like no matter what you think of Donald Trump and no matter you know what you may disagree with of his you know political views 
what happened that day, no matter who it was, isn't what America stands for. You know, you can't, the fact America is very strong on uh, freedom of speech and freedom of, you know, the American dream and being able to speak, you know, without being, you know, brought down, shall we say. And this assassinator tried to kill Donald Trump based on his speech and his views. And if he did die that day, he would have died a martyr because he would have been taken out for his beliefs, which is insane. And no one has, should have to go through that either. Like, end of the day, he's a dad, he's a husband, mm. you know, probably grandfather. Yeah. Like, no human being should have to go through that. And he was in public as well. Yeah, which is even more crazy. Yeah. This guy just doesn't care about his life. He was on a mission that day. If I go down, I make sure you go down. He probably thought by him doing this, he'll die in his head, he's as a psychotic person. He's probably he thinking, is. if I kill Trump today, I'll go down in the history books as someone good. But what he's not realizing that that's not the way to do things, you know. No, but unfortunately, some people think that is the way to do. Certain it's nasty things. work, nasty work. Yeah. Large. The picture of Trump, bloody but defiant, that. with a raised fist in front of the American flag. That's what will America surely is. Become a powerful symbol in his re-election campaign. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so what did you think of the video? Our question is still unanswered of how he got there. How he got there? Why didn't the agents see him? Quick enough, yeah. They are experts. They mentioned in the video they were probably focusing on further back, but then it's like, how did he get on that building and not the Secret Service? Why couldn't the Secret Service be on that building? Because they're normally in, on all the buildings that are local within that region to have the height advantage. So what's gone wrong there? Something's obviously got wrong. And let's be honest, the Secret Service is going to get the, an absolute bollock in for a lot, like when they go back to the head office, that shit is going to be shut down. Like they're not going to let that happen ever nope. again moving forward because nope. that's a big mistake yeah. made. Mm -hmm. But guys, thank you so much for recommending the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, suggest the videos below. We are reading the comments. For now, peace out. Bye.